that season finale. I've read the manga so there's not a lot from the anime that really surprised me. But if I were to say that ending was super shocking. I knew it was going like around 3 chapters from the manga for each episode. So for the finale I predicted that like it would end somewhere in the future. And I thought it would end around the dinner that they had or when Kisaki had drugged uh, Chifuyu and Takemichi and then it would just end there. But instead, it just ended when Kisaki was about to shoot Takemichi. And that was like, oh man, that is brutal for the anime only. Also, oh my god, I was so upset when Chifuyu got shot in the manga but it was so much more devastating in the anime. So yeah, props to both Takemichi's and Chifuyu's voice actors because that scene absolutely destroyed me, like much more than in the manga. I didn't cry, but it definitely sent chills down my spine, and I was definitely like really upset, <laughs> more upset at Kisaki than I was in the manga. So it's such a cruel way. It's such a cruel way to end this season. Uh, but I actually started watching the manga after episode eleven. Like that was like after we uh, found out the dragon was fine after getting stabbed uh, but I went on to the manga because of Mikey I was still very curious about him and like he had his whole who are you really Takemichi in like the rooftop scene and I was like ooh that's interesting and I went on to the manga so <laughs> I'm pretty um, pretty frail in how I go on to the manga. That was enough to take me over and go to manga. So like after this season finale, I can't imagine how many people are just gonna be like, okay, that's enough. I'm just going to go on to the manga now. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I think like even before, my favorite character was Mikey. Like before reading the manga, and even after reading my, my, the manga, he's still my favorite character. I think uh, there are a lot of people, the manga readers, who say that Ch Chifu is their favorite character. And he really is a like, great character. But <laughs> like, I can't, I can't like, deny that I have so much interest in Mikey. <laughs> like, he's so interesting, he's still so interesting to me. The anime did a, such a great job in adapting this manga and I almost wish I didn't read the manga because I feel like I would have felt more emotions and cried when I was supposed to cry like much more naturally instead of just watching it through and then feeling chills here and there but I mean I think my, my tears already got wasted on the manga instead so I hope this anime gets a season 2 soon, if not, if not seriously, poor anime movies because you don't get much out of this. Uh, and to the anime movies who want to go to the manga after this huge, huge cliffhanger, I definitely recommend it. But, but even so, like, yeah, it will still be meaningful if you wait for the anime to come out the season 2 could come out because either either way either you read the manga or you watch the anime it's still going to be super emotional and the emotional roller coaster is going to be it's going to go round and round and round and it's not going to stop anytime soon so it's really actually it's much more to your preference on how you consume this kind of content because I know some people don't like reading manga and some people don't like watching anime. Uh, for me personally, I like both reading the manga and watching the anime. That's why I do both for Tokyo Revengers. And if you if you just want to wait for the next season of Tokyo Revengers, then that's fine too. Like, yeah, it's a super huge cliffhanger, but I think it will be worth it. And I hope with all my heart, with all my heart that you never get spoiled until the anime comes out 
and my dear fellow manga readers please please don't spoil it for the enemy movies please because that is just such a horrible thing to do i know like most manga readers can't help themselves they're like oh something great is gonna happen soon and they want to hype things up for Tokyo Avengers but please don't make this special for anime movies please don't spoil this for them so and besides I think it's gonna be super super interesting to see how anime movies will react to the future of Tokyo Rangers when the new season come out so I mean this this experience of reading a manga has been engraved in my mind and I can't wait to be for it to be engraved in all the anime movies mine as well I hope everyone has a great uh, wonderful day ahead and keep Tokyo Revengers in your thoughts, thoughts for a while and feel about it make it trending for a while so that people know that people can pick up Tokyo Revengers more people can see it and hopefully season 2 comes out sooner than it, sooner rather than later Anyways, I think that's all, so goodbye.